Hey, what's happening everybody? I know it's been a while since our last video. Haven't been doing too well, just uh, being sick overall. Uh, voice is still a little bit hoarse, so bear with me. Um, how's everybody been doing? Um, like I said, it's been a little bit. Not too much been going on down here. Just the basic stuff, working on cars, working in general. Um, Josh, you, I think you had mentioned something about the belt on Mom's Corvette. We went ahead and got that replaced. I'll get another video of that. And you can actually hear it without squealing. Sounds nice. Um, very nice. The only issue we're having right now is it's not holding fuel pressure at the rails. So it's got prolonged cranking. Once it fires, it has pressure for a bit. Once it sits, the pressure's gone again. You have to crank it. Um, let me know what you think. I'm thinking either the fuel pump or the pressure regulator. Um, anyway, how's everybody else doing? John and Jody, I saw you guys are looking at tattoos again. I don't know if you already went. It looked like you guys might have been going last night. If so, when you guys get them, you know, get us some pictures. Let us see how they look. You guys showed us the tattoos you're going to get, but, you know, not actually on you. So let us see how they look, if you can. I say that because not everybody gets them in places everybody should see. <laughs> um, Katie, Robert, how's it, you know, how have things been going? Haven't heard too much from you guys. Uh, well, Robert, you've messaged me on Facebook, so I guess I have heard from you. Um, Brandon and Jason haven't talked to you guys much either. Dad, you know, you guys can hit me up on the channel. Comments in the space down under, underneath the video. You know, I can answer any questions you have or message me, call me. Like I said, I did get a new phone. I switched carriers. Um, I finally got tired of T-Mobile shit. I bought their G2X. Um, I recommend you Google it so you can see why I'm pissed off. I bought the G2X back in April, or May. It came out in April. I bought it in May. Very nice phone. Very expensive phone. But when it came out anyway. It cost me a little over four total. And that's including a discount. So, I bought that. Had a couple issues with it. Once I split it off onto my own line, the issues went away. Not a bad phone. The biggest problems I had with T-Mobile they don't have 3G in my area. I have 2G. Well, 2G's like fucking dial up. Nobody wants to use that shit. So, figured fuck it. I'll just, you know, I'll deal with it. Maybe they'll eventually upgrade now that ATT can't buy them anymore. Or they're still trying, but it ain't gonna happen. Um, well, the glass from the back popped off the camera. It's part of the back cover, and it popped off the back cover that covers the camera and keeps it clean. I so, well, what the hell? I just pulled out of my pocket one day. It hasn't been dropped or anything like that or thrown, nothing. Um, the glue just didn't hold. So I called T-Mobile. And they said uh, they'd get me a replacement phone. I said, with the, you know, the back cover and everything, they said yes. The reason I asked is because I know a lot of companies will only ship you the core phone. Well, they said, no, they'll send me the back cover. I just need to keep the memory card and I need to keep the battery but the phone itself will be replaced. I said, great, go ahead and send it. They send it, I get it the next day. It's just the core phone, there's no back cover. So I called them back. I asked them pretty much, what the hell, you know? I'm paying a lot of money for the phone, a lot of money for your service. I'm paying for the insurance, what the fuck? They said, call LG, LG makes the G2X. So I called them. They said, it's not covered under warranty. Uh, that piece isn't, that that's not considered part of the phone. How is the back cover not part of the fucking phone? Please explain this to me because I'm drawing a blank. So they say it's not part of the phone. T-Mobile then says the same shit. It's not part of the phone. It's an accessory to the phone. No. A case is an accessory. An extra battery is an accessory. A Bluetooth is an accessory. The back of the phone is part of the fucking phone. I don't care who you talk to. I don't care what they say. The back cover is part of the phone. It came with the phone to cover shit, okay? That's what it's there for. It's part of the phone. So, check on the lines getting real snotty. Well, no, we can order for you. It's going to cost you like 40 bucks for the back cover. Being all snotty and shit. So, it's like, fuck this, you know? I'm not dealing with this shit. Asked her real polite. Put on a nice voice and everything. I said, well, can you check one more thing for me? And she got all nice again. Yeah, sure. I said, okay, well, tell me how much it costs to cancel my contract. And she just kind of stutters for a second. She's like, well, it's $200, and she's getting cocky again. Ironically, when I opened the line a couple months ago, back in May, 
I had to pay $200 to get the contract split off of uh, Yolanda's to get the line. I said, good. I said, so you guys can take that $200 deposit and use it for my disconnect fee. Well, yeah, technically we can. Thank you. Click. <laughs> That's about the last time I talked to T-Mobile. Did some searching around. AT&T is fucking crazy. They wanted a $500 deposit for AT&T for me to get a contract with them. That's crazy. I'm not doing that. It's like, fuck you guys, you know? You guys don't even have anything special. Every phone you carry, someone else carries too. Including the iPhone. Verizon has the iPhone. Which, ironically, is where I went. I went to Verizon. Check them out. I told them I wanted a dual-core phone that had 4G and actually had the service. They said, we have one phone. The Droid Bionic. Very nice phone. That's what I went with. Um, got a half price because I'm on a new contract, so it only costs three. Instead of six. Obviously, that's half. Um, but I had them check up everything. No deposit. They didn't want jack shit. I had to buy the phone. That was it. They said, buy the phone, and you got it. Fuck yeah. Sign me up. So now I've got them. I did transfer my number, so it's the same number. You guys can still reach me at the exact same phone number. If you don't have it, let me know. I'll send it to you. I'm not putting my shit on the open internet for people to see. Just because you guys are the only ones watching these videos now doesn't mean other people might not later. Or people might stumble upon it. I don't need prank callers. Um, so if you don't have it, let me know, and I'll make sure you get it. Um, it's a good phone, though. Very nice. The, the 4G I'm loving. I can actually go around and look shit up on the internet that I need to. If I'm out somewhere and I need to check a price on something or something's interesting me, I can actually search it as opposed to T-Mobile service. So I'm very happy. Um, you know, some of you guys might have T-Mobile and might be thrilled with their service. In Temple, Texas, it sucks. Ask Crystal. She would agree. Anyway, so I've switched carriers. I'm with Verizon. Badass phone. Um... Not really much else has happened over the week. Like I said, I've been sick, so that's why it's been over a week since we had the last video. Right as I say we're going to get the videos on track, I get sick and we don't have any videos for over a week. Very nice. i got to do a little bit of tweaking on the Suburban today, so that's why I'm a little bit dirty. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Um, my serpentine belt's all cracked and shit, and it's got some rubber coming off, so it's time for a new one. I already have it outside. I need to put it on. Anyway, let me know how everybody's been doing. I'm going to... Relax a little bit before all six fucking kids get here. Anyway, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, feel free. Please do. Leave a message. Uh, space Down Under, we've talked about it. You know about it. We all love it. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later, and I love you guys. Bye.